So I was just wondering, um, what are the challenges of filming, you know, like a, a period drama set in a, in a very specific sort of time frame? What are the challenges for you as an actor? Um, I, I would say, <laughs> I, I, as an actor and a, a human being, <laughs> um, sometimes the costumes can be a bit restrictive. Yeah. So like um, having to go to the toilet can sometimes be a bit, bit of an issue. <laughs> I don't think we have to specify much further. <laughs> I'm sure lots of knights and you know warriors in the battlefield had that problem as well. <laughs> um, yeah, pro- probably the main one: practicalities. <laughs> what about things like fighting? You know, is it, I mean, obviously you have stunt people, you know, part of the show, but. Is it, is it quite a physical role? Uh, yes, yeah, it's very, very physical. Um, and it's really fun. And the great thing is, it's pretend. <laughs> so after it, you're like, oh my God, this is so exciting and brilliant. Wow, this is what it must have been like. Yeah, but we have plastic swords. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And all the people that you're fighting are like stunt guys. So when you do tap them with the sword, they'll go down. <laughs> it's not. So... Um, but you do get a flavour of it after it. You do, the adrenaline rush is unbelievable. And what people kind of forget is, and actually when you're in the madness of it, and there's so many people, especially dressed in similar costumes, you are looking out for the stunt guys you practice with, but all the Vikings look the same when they're in armour. So it's very much like, oh my God, everyone's just running at me. Who am I going? I'm, I'm going to go for you. <laughs> so then, so then there's been a couple of times when I've attacked the wrong guy and then I've ruined the whole battle. I'm like, oh my God, because you're supposed to fight him, then he fights Alex. <laughs> um, yeah. but, hi, Ray. Right. So what was your experience like getting to work on Set of Oh, that was many, many years ago now. Brilliant. Um, it was really exciting. Um, yeah, I got horrifically beaten up. And that. I think for, for, I think for a, a while at the start of my career, I was a, a victim. <laughs> <laughs> How the tables have turned. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was interesting as well. And then when it first came out, and I think a lot of actors get this as well, if, you, if your character's been killed or something traumatic has happened to them, um, everyone's mothers and fathers watch it and it's like oh my god they get so upset my mum was like my wee boy oh my god they killed you and I'm like mum I'm alive I'm here it's like it's fake but I think because they see it with their eyes it just is so impactful you know but it was great working in that set and, and that was the first time I'd seen an actor who was who, to, to keep in the zone and yeah, yeah to keep in the zone and be prepared for the scene, he would listen to music. And actually, so many actors do that. But he had massive uh, cancellation headphones, even back then. And he was just in his own world. Where, as a young guy, I'm like, hi, I'm Mark. It's like, <laughs> mm, leave me alone, turn the music up. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. So, uh, with Last Kingdom coming to an end, um, what are the things that you will uh, miss about the show and what are the things that you, other than the costumes, obviously, uh, that you really won't miss about the show? Um, I suppose all my friends. Uh, I think this is the... Um, I mean, in other shows, I've definitely, you know, um, made new acquaintances and friends for sure, but in this show, like, everyone is my, is my pal. Like, we all have a WhatsApp group. We all keep in touch. We've been on holiday with each other. Uh, so I think that's what I'll miss knowing that I wouldn't get to see them as much Mm. Um, so yeah we've even talked about you know occasions of hey maybe we should have like a thing where we meet up every couple of years you know like some sort of convention for ourselves (laughs) (laughs) you know yeah that's (laughs) yeah totally Uh, things I won't miss Um, I think sometimes being away from home because because you're away from home so much, you do miss a lot of events, you know, family events and um, being with your loved ones. So maybe maybe that, you know, because uh, it's so hard to just go back for a couple of days, especially as we were filming over COVID there. We're very much there for yeah. the entirety of the shoot, you know. Um, 
So that was quite tough, but I wouldn't I won't miss that as much. Cool, thanks. Um, so what's been your favourite moment working in Lost Kingdom? Favourite moment? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I think I've said this before, but there was a time when me and Arnest, who plays Cetric, uh, I think it was season three, and it was either episode four, it was episode four and five, um, and there was a big battle, and we all charge out from the forest, and we're all surrounded, and we were running out of time in, in the day, and so all the cameras were set up, and um, <laughs> we thought the lens that they were using on one of the cameras in particular was very tight. So if you go for a tight shot and someone's slashing about, like there could be, you could be fighting air <laughs> and they wouldn't even realise that, you know, no one's there or whatever because it's so tight and close and it feels almost claustrophobic. So you can sell it, you know? Um, but it wasn't like a, it wasn't a close up on Arnest and myself. It was a wide shot. <laughs> so by the time we finished the fight, and they were just like, keep going, keep going. We're like, okay, all the stunt guys have kind of died. <laughs> we were just <laughs> pretending <laughs> to like fight people. And then they had the, the, um, the additional artists there, you know, the extras, they were there, supporting artists. And so then we started interacting with them. And they didn't know what to do. So as soon as like we were slashing them with the plastic swords, they, they just all died and didn't fight back. So if you ended up watching it back, poor guy who's editing it together. Um because just would you just seen all these Vikings just sacrifice themselves to us? It would just be ridiculous. So I'd say that was good. We didn't get fired either, so that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a um, Do you remember in the last kingdom, were there any new skills that you had to learn? Um, yes. Uh, yeah, horse riding. I had to do an Irish accent, and that was really fun. Um, and I said to all my Irish friends as well, <clears throat> you know, if, if I, at some point you can hear that I'm Scottish, then I'll have to buy a pint. <laughs> so I made sure that my accent was in top form. <laughs> so yeah, prob- probably that. Yep. Um. So if you if you could appear in another um, Assassin's Creed game as a historical figure, who would it be and why? Oh, that is very interesting. Um. Hmm. Historical figure, maybe like someone like Napoleon. That'd be quite cool. I mean, he was a bit of an interesting character, you know. Yeah, someone like that. Um. Be on your knees. <laughs> I'd have to be on my knees. <laughs> he definitely had small man syndrome, you know, taking over the world and all that. But he done all right. Feel as if that, you know, forced him to force his masculinity to the to the edge, to the extreme. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe someone like that. Um, yeah, I quite I quite liked an Alexander playing Alexander uh, Graham Bell. I think that was quite a cool character to play. It was a cool character. Yeah, it's really, it's really hard to pick something. He was like te- the, the Tesla back in the day, you know, <laughs> creating everything. Um, yeah. I was going to ask, what do you think is the continued appeal of, you know, a Viking story? You know, this is, this is you know, it's deep into kind of antiquity, but, you know, it's, it's, they're still used in, in kind of film and TV and books. What do you think, what is it still about, you know, the idea of, of the Vikings that still appeals to a modern audience? I think it's because they are steeped in nature, you know. Um, it's that idea of you could be taken at any minute. Yes. So people celebrate life even more. And I think that's what I appreciated with the, the show itself. And just thinking about that, because we have so many distractions, you know, our phones and everything just around us now. So it's kind of like we forget to be what it's like to be human. But back then, you did have harsh winters, um, it was about community spirit, uh, similar beliefs, the almost clan systems, you know. Um, identity was everything. And you were only as powerful as the next man, you know. Um, so I do, I do think it's to do with that, the core of what human society really was. And I feel as if we are missing that more and more each day as we delve into the world of the internet, you know, everyone's talking about 
you know, uh, microchips in our head. <laughs> 5G. 5G, yeah. So, so I, I would say it's that. Very rarely, I think, even I even realised that, you know, a couple of months ago when I was walking around a uh, nice park, I was like, oh, I'm listening to music. I was like, ah. Oh, Oh, wow, you'd never get that back in the day. And then I took my headphones. My, actually, my headphones died. And I was like, oh my God, it's so nice to hear the, tr- the wind through the trees. So just to appreciate nature, just to kind of be there and make sure your phone is off. And totally. Like, like very walking around. And- 100% and present. Yes. I was like, whoa. Yes. So, yeah, maybe, maybe it's that. That's cool. what it felt like for me. Thank you. One more question. Is there any scenes or role that you got to play that you spent back on? Oh, wow, I couldn't believe I got to do that. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm doing a project just now, and it's kind of like that. But there's, um, I'd say, I, I played Macbeth when I was when I was younger. I was like 25, and that was quite cool, especially to do it so young. Um, so yeah, very much that really. Um, yeah, it's just a great part to play, and normally you kind of get cast. As Macbeth when you're your mid thirties, so it was, it was really, really exciting to do that so young. Thank you.